that's the most common thing about Filipinas, especially we're already comfortable with our partner. That's the reason why you want her to be physically active. They get offended by that. There are Filipinas that aren't open to another culture. They want you to adjust their behavior and their culture itself. Time, this is just a heads up because who knows, you might encounter this kind of behavior or Filipina. Yeah, there are relationships that don't really work because of it. Welcome, welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Roger, Roger and Esme, Esme Vlogs. So today's subject, you may hurt your Filipina's ego if you say these things. Before we start, again, salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa amo channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos so what are these things that you need to avoid guys in order for you not to hurt your filipinas ego yes and you have to remember this because this is really important and maybe you will encounter a filipina that her behavior is like this yes so first is they get offended even though that you're just motivating them okay so we will give you an example for you to really remember yes so one of these example is you want her to shred some weight lose some weight yes and you think that it would be a proper way because health is wealth absolutely so your intention is to motivate her but the thing is she get offended she get offended it. because yes. She's thinking that she's obese or overweight, or not she's good bad. looking. Yeah, she's not attractive enough. So you're just looking about her physical appearance, not her personality. You're not satisfied about the way she tends to take care of you. That's the reason why you want her to be physically active. They get offended by that because they think that, oh, I'm, I'm not good enough. Do I really look fat? I'm not attractive? Yeah, especially if you are a person who loves to go to the gym and then yes. you have to encourage your partner or your wife that you have to exercise too. To the fact that um, all you need to do is to just motivate her and you want her to just to be healthy. And yes, that's the most common thing about Filipinas. Especially we're already comfortable with our partner. We don't really care about our physical appearance no more because we're already taken. Yeah, married. So especially also the Filipino husband would say, ah, that's fine, it's okay since we're already married. Yes. And good thing about it is once you know her hobbies, you should really choose if you have the common things that she has because that would really lead to an argument especially she likes eating and you're the type of person that is health conscious right so that's totally opposite <laughs> so in that way for sure you'll encounter arguments but in a way you can solve that so it's just that it's your communication and understanding that's true in what way to make her feel okay with it in order for you to just segue everything you can just say oh we can go hiking together so that we could enjoy the sceneries <laughs> so well you have to explain it to her too like okay this is the right way blah 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 so in the first place in your relationship i'm the type of person that likes to do healthy activities yeah exercise yes and she would already know because you already have standard for it. I don't want to have a woman that is obese. I want us to both be healthy. Right. So many ways, actually yeah, a lot of examples also can really hit her ego. All I need to do is to know what are those things and it takes a lot of years to know the person. <laughs> True. Next is there are Filipinas that aren't open to another culture they want you to adjust their behavior and their culture itself so these types of filipinas they want to not be pressured 
by what you are. They want you to adjust for her behavior instead meeting halfway. Right. I do not know if you will stick this kind of Filipina because of this kind of behavior, but if you really love her, then you really have to adjust because there, yeah, like what you said, there are some Filipinas are like that, that you really have to. But the thing is, she will say that since you are here in the Philippines, then you have to adjust. And they will insist that, okay, since this is my behavior, you really have to adjust. Yes, I don't want to change because we're not the same. You need to adjust by my behavior, not me adjusting to your behavior. But that's really toxic and that's really wrong. Because in a relationship, you really need to meet halfway. If you have this type of behavior and she has this type of behavior, you're both needing to adjust it. True. For a healthy relationship, then both of you, you really have to adjust. It's true. And you need to understand each other what will be the common misbehavior of the other person. Yeah. And this time, this is just a heads up because who knows, you might encounter this kind of behavior or Filipina. Yeah, there are relationships that don't really work because of it. Because the Filipina don't want to change her behavior or don't want to adjust. And the foreigner don't want to adjust either. True. Yes. <laughs> so they would just stick one week or two weeks in a relationship and that's all. Break up. <laughs> Next is they are used to their Filipino partners like their ex-boyfriend that they don't really matter about their physical appearance. So what we said before, once a Filipina is comfortable with their partner, they tend to just be okay with what they are right now. Right. And that's the reality of being a Filipino couple. They really don't care uh, they really don't care what's the physical of your partner already as long as like uh, they're happy together so there's no need for you like to exercise it really depends on you if you really want to go to the gym or you want to exercise that's true and that's what you see right here in the philippines that there are couples that are obese already they don't look healthy and that's the reason why they are more comfortable with each other there is a saying, once a, once a woman would get fatter, she is in a healthy relationship. We're being loved by yeah. the husband. <laughs> in the Philippines, we have that saying here. So if you're gaining a lot of weight, just because your husband is taking care of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, guys. <laughs> and most of us Filipinas, once we are in a, a very good relationship or a good relationship, we don't really care about what we look, even how we dress. Yeah, not unless if you have a certain goal for your health. Like, yes. we want to be like this together. We have to exercise, <laughs> we have to go to the gym every day. If we want to. And most of us don't tend to take care of our, what we look right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Most of, most of us would like, oh, okay, this is just, we dress simply, we don't really put makeup anymore because we're already taken. Right, especially those uh, couple in the in the province. <laughs> <laughs> they they tend to look like oh, what happened to you? This is just how I dress. <laughs> it, it's we're having a, a party or we're having a, this event, and you're dressed that way. You're just dressing casual. Why would I just something extravagant? Yeah. I already I'm, I'm already taken. What what's the purpose? <laughs> That's the like the normal or the mindset of Filipino couple. <laughs> Yeah, they tend to think that, oh, I need to dress this way because it's an event. They, they don't really care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the most common behavior of Filipinos, especially if they're already comfortable with you. So if your Filipina is gaining weight already, meaning to say she's really comfortable in your relationship already. <laughs> So then guys, um, bottom line with this is you have to really communicate with your partner and the connection is really important. So let her understand what's the purpose, why you're doing this so That's that true. she could understand. Perfectly said. And I would say you really need to have a common hobby together in order for you to have a healthy relationship. True. Yes. 
So thank you so much guys for watching till the end and we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate. Just love. Bye. Bye.